Okay, so thanks for tuning in. If you like WordPress videos, performance, security, a little bit of crypto, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, like, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification. I try not to post maybe once every two weeks, once a month, something like that, so you're not, so you're not overwhelmed. If you want to jo join a growing Discord channel, look at the link below. Okay, so no script. I'm just going to talk. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is how to lock down the back end of WP Admin based on IP address. Why this is why you would want to do this is for security reasons. Let's say somebody gets the password to your one of your admin users on WordPress. If they're not coming from the right IP address, they will not be allowed to access the back end. So let's see. So if I go to the back end for a blog that I run, interestinganswers.com, and I refresh, because I'm logged in here, you can see I can see everything. Now let's come in from a different IP address. Let's just turn on my VPN. Oops. This is what it's going to look like forbidden. So even if the your password is compromised and you, that person is not going to be able to do any damage to I mean through the WordPress dashboard, of course they could get into the OS, they could SSH in if they can compromise that that aspect of it, but just from the WordPress back end point of view they're not going to be able to do anything because the access will be forbidden based on IP address. So let's go back and turn VPN off and I'll show you if I refresh it will now work, right? So how do you do this? Um, the easiest way is just to, I mean, if you're comfortable with SSH, you could use with uh, Linux command line, you could, you know, SSH in using PuTTY on Windows, for example. But the easiest way would just be get a WP file manager. All you have to do is go to the directory you want to lock down. In this case, it's WP admin. So go down to the WP admin directory, create a HT, dot ht access file, and if this ever gets screwed up, all you have to do, like if you lock yourself out, all you have to do is SSH in to your hosting provider, assuming it's a Linux box or Unix box, something like that. Or just go to the back end, you know, the file manager on your hosting provider, and you can access the file this way because you can lock yourself out. So what you'll do is HD access, right click, code editor, and put the IP addresses you're going to be accessing your website from um, that you want to be able that you will be accessing the back end of your w your basically your wp admin area right so in this case if we go to what is my ip address so that's the ip6 address i'm old school so i still use ip4 68 226 254 103 right but it does change it sometimes could be 68 226 255 89 97 then sometimes it could be 103 whatever so instead of having the you could do it exactly like this allow from but if you know you're always going to be 68 226 254 dot whatever you could just leave it like that in my case i just kept it as 68.226 because I don't think 254 ever changes, but maybe it does. And this is just one level of security, right? I do full security audits. If you need help with that, reach, go over, uh, go over to my company website at norzer.me. I can help with local SEO, WordPress performance, WordPress security. And again, uh, join the Discord below for free. And if you're liking this video, please like it. And if you could leave a comment on how you found this video, like what keywords you typed into Google, that would be totally awesome. So for example, if I'm coming from 68226.2.2, I'll be able to get in. Three dot, I'll get in. Anything after 68.226, I'll be able to access the website. However, if this was 225 and I saved it and refreshed, I would no longer be able to get into my website. So let's do that. Let's lock myself out. Let's save. And if I refresh, it's for forbidden. So you're thinking, well, wow, so now how do I access my website? So basically, again, you could SSH in. But what you, the easiest way, if you're not comfortable with Linux command line stuff, is just go to your hosting provider, navigate to the file, and let's refresh. Um, public HTML, WP admin. HD access. You can always just rename this file to, you know, HD access old or something. Although for security reasons, you want to do, we wouldn't want to do that. You want to name it something different. If you want to dis disable all of these, um, 
all of these configurations. So you can see it's allow 68.225, so let's change it to 226. And we're going to save it, and we're now going to try to go back in. And you can see we're now in, right? So hopefully that was helpful. Again, please like the video, leave a comment. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, I can, you know, hopefully uh, I'll do it if I, if I know about it. If not, I'll research it and I'll do a video. Um, on that topic, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So that would be cool if you're not a sub to go ahead, go ahead and sub. Uh, again, join the Discord. If uh, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. If this doesn't work for you, let me know. But hopefully, you found this useful. And it's just one of the many um, uh, security act activities or actions you can do to help lock down your website. So have a good day. See ya. Thank <music> you.